Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a typewriter effect for any text on a text label. So, let's just get right into it. So, before we start, make sure you go under the View tab and open up the Explore and Properties. After that, go under the Explore, find the Start GUI, click the plus, and enter in a Screen GUI. And then, under your Screen GUI, click the plus and enter in a text label. So this is going to be the text that we're going to do our typewriter effect on. Obviously, you can size the text or your label, your message to whatever you want. I'll probably just make mine like that. If you want, you can rename your text label. Um, I'm just going to rename mine to message. And if you go into the properties of this, you can change different things like the background color, which I might just make some kind of gray. And then you can also change things like all the way down here under the text you can make the text scaled uh, you could also make the text uh, white and like that uh, just, you can basically just play around with the properties until you like it uh, so once you have your text label or your message down in studio what you want to do is go back to your screen GUI click the plus and enter in a local script and I'm just gonna rename this local script to type writer effect just like that and now I'm going to zoom in a little bit and you can now write what I write. So first off, we're going to start off with some variables. So local text label equals to script dot parent colon wait for child. And inside the brackets, I'm going to put in some quotation marks. And this is going to be our message. And then I'm going to go down a line and I'm going to write local message equals to and then put in some quotation marks. So this is going to be the text that you want to do the typewriter effect on. So, you know, to keep it simple, I'm just gonna do something like uh, subscribe to on fire Roblox scripting. Very subtle, obviously. And then the last variable we're gonna need is our typing speed. Uh, so that's gonna be local speed. And then usually you want a pretty small number. So something like 0 0.05 or 0 0.1 uh, works. The, the lower the number, uh, like 0 0.5 or 0. 0 0.1, 0 0.05, uh, the faster the typing effect is going to be. Uh, so I'm just going to keep mine at 0 0.05. This is pretty fast. So after we've got our variables, we can now write our functions. So it's just going to be one function. So local function, and I'm just going to call this type writer. And then we're going to put in some brackets. And then here we're going to pass in three different parameters. So the first one is going to be our text label, comma. The second one is going to be our full text and then a comma and the last one is going to be our typing speed just like that after that we can go down the line and we can write text label dot text equals to and just a blank quotation mark so this will clear the text on the text label and then what we can do is write for i equals to one comma and then hashtag full text do just like that go down the line and write text label dot text equals to string dot sub and inside the brackets we're going to write full text comma one comma i just like that and finally we're going to go down the line and write test dot wait inside the brackets we're just going to write the typing speed just like that and then at the very end of the script we're just going to go down two lines and we're just going to write test dot wait about three seconds and then we go down the line and we're going to call this function so we can just write uh, type writer and inside the brackets we're going to pass on the three parameters that we want so that's going to be our text label comma our message comma and then our speed so i'm going to quickly explain what this script does so first off the variables this first one is going to get our text label which is called message in the explorer the second one is the message that we want to type right out so when we do the typewriting effect, this is what it's going to be typewriting. And then the third one is just how fast we're going to be typewriting this. And then this whole function takes care of the typewriting. So when we start the function, we're going to clear whatever's in the text label, uh, make it say no text. And then for every letter in the text uh, or message that we give it, which is the one comma hashtag full text. So it's going to go through every single letter. And then we're going to sub in uh, up to that letter uh and indexed by one 
So basically, it's going to write out an S and then an SU and an SUB, SUBS, and it's going to do that for the entire string. And then between each uh, letter that we add, we're going to weight our typing speed, which is why the lower this number is, the faster it's going to be. Now down here, you can call the typewriter uh, function whenever you want. Uh, I'm just calling it after we wait three seconds so that I can show you later in a showcase. But that is all you have to do, and we can go test it out now. So this is our label. If I just wait three seconds, there you go. It's going to start typewriting our message just like that. Now, if I stop and let's say I change the speed to 0 0.01, this is going to be very fast. So if I wait three seconds, it's going to type right out. There you go. You see how fast that was? And if I change this to something slower, like 0 0.1, it's going to be a slower typewriting effect. So you can see that is a lot slower. But yeah, that'll be it for this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!